In ancient times, Chersonesis was the largest city of the Crimean Peninsula. There were dozens of churches here. It's believed that the first Christian to preach here was the apostle Andrew himself. Pope Clement was then martyred here. In the seventh century, Byzantine Emperor Constance II exiled Pope St. Martin to Crimea and killed him here too because of the Pope's resistance to the Monophysite heresy. In the ninth century, the relics of the aforementioned popes were found by St. Cyril and Methodius, who were on mission here. The Holy Brothers took the relics and transferred them back to Rome. On June the 3rd, 1783, a Catholic Rear Admiral, Thomas Mackenzie, founded the city of Sevastopol upon the ruins of the ancient Chersonesis. Admiral Mackenzie, a Russian of Scottish origins, was the leader of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Empire, one of the many Catholics who were serving the Tsar. Nicholas II gave permission to Catholics to build their church, and in 1911, the cathedral of Pope St. Clement was completed and consecrated. The cathedral, though, followed the fate of its patron saint. It was martyred. The church was repeatedly looted after the Communist Revolution, and in 1936, it was finally closed. It was desecrated, turned into a cinema, and at the place of the altar, public toilets were installed. They were only closed in 2009. In 1997, a newly arrived parish priest, Father Leonid Tkachuk, purchased an apartment in front of the profaned cathedral in order to celebrate Mass as close as possible to it. On June 3, 2018, St. Clement's Church was returned to us. For 60 years, the church was a children's cinema. For us, it is a great joy, because after 20 years of demanding from the Ukraine authorities and then from the Russians, this cathedral was returned. The restoration work suddenly began with the help of volunteers and parishioners, but soon after, they were stopped by the authorities. The building was recognized as a city monument and must now undergo a special evaluation so that it might be restored by experts who would return the cathedral to its original appearance. How long will it last? We don't know. But the main thing is that since November we have been praying inside the cathedral, in the lobby, where there used to be a cinema waiting room. There's a lot of space and high ceilings up to five meters. People are really happy to come and pray in this chapel that we have equipped. We've been conducting missions in the city, and after their conclusion, we put a mission cross at the entrance of the building. The missions finished on November 18th when the building was consecrated by the bishop, and since that day, we have been praying here constantly. The biggest difficulty is to be able to raise enough funds with the international sanctions still in place. Now, only for these different examinations and for different scientific works that the law requires, translating from the Russian ruble, it is about 400,000 euros and plus three times more for restoration. That's a million and 200 euros for restoration. However, the main thing is that the building has been given back and that it is now a Catholic cathedral and we give all our strength to restore it. We are asking for help in some dioceses, and some are refusing, and others are helping. And I think that with God's help, this cathedral will be restored. The examples of Saints Clement and Martin continue to inspire the hearts of Crimean Catholics who seek to carry on their legacy of Christianity, no matter what difficulties may come, with hope.